All right, what I have here is Battle Clash for the SNES. This is a light gun game. I have my trusty super scope, so I'm gonna give it a go. Um, it is working for now. I have to kind of plug and replug in my um, my receiver because it doesn't seem to always work. So. Hopefully it'll work. I'm playing on a CRT. I got a uh, Sony PVM recently. Of course, one of the main reasons was so I could play games like this. This was a favorite as a kid. I really loved it. Played it to death as a kid. <laughs> oh, who is this who challenges me? You're a foolish to even try. First enemy to prevent him from firing his attack. Make sure to let the laser charge to full energy, then press fire. Use machine gun fire to protect yourself from his attack. I also got Metal Combat, which is the sequel. Um, this, I kind of prefer this so far. Oh, let's turn that off. One thing I did as a kid, <laughs> when I first got it, I played it to death. And the thing about this game is you really have to be careful not to get all cramped up. Like, I actually got my neck like, had a serious crick in my neck when I first played it. So got to be careful would not advise oops, would not advise playing it for long periods so, isn't done very well one thing that was super cool about this game not timing that very well see you can like take off pieces of them at a time child why does he say I'm a child you know why because the gamer was a child <laughs> see the guy doesn't look like a child at all but if you were a kid playing it you were a child so that's why he says that or travels fast So this time they try to give you a lesson and wait for an opening. Because the previous guy, as long as you hit him with a charge shot, you could pretty much hit him anywhere. <sighs> See, he's not really hitting him. Now I think I can actually hit him hit him in the eyes. He took a little bit of damage when I hit him in the eye like that. Oh, it's a little late to hitting that. My uh, Super Scope receiver seems to have a couple blind spots. I ordered another one, so I'm hoping that hoping it doesn't have that problem. 
either um, kind of low on the screen or high on the screen, and it doesn't seem to register the hit. I like to shoot this guy's legs off if I can. Oops. I don't think he can do his battle him without. You do have to kind of. To be able to, uh, <laughs> take out pieces of enemies was just the coolest thing about this game. Because it's, it's like it's, um, customized experience, you know? Your way of defeating them might not be someone else's way. It's like a Vega character, you know, Barlog, or Balrog, you know? It's like he's proud of his face. most uh, beautiful thing in the world has been spoiled. <laughs> I remember thinking she was kind of hot as a kid. <laughs> anime. It's very sort of 90s anime style. Their character designs, pretty cool. here. There's a hard mode too. I have to look up how to access that. But um if I get through maybe I'll follow up with a hard mode. Strange, worry about your enemy. 
Yeah, he thinks he's not a bad person because he's a woman. <laughs> Guys get some issues with his teeth. So his little hint there tells you to take out those orbs. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ah! Two and one. Spawning quite as much as I would like. Oh, look at that. Just can't get the stupid. I try to time it so that if they send one of those flashing ones that I hit it at the same time that it's in front of them. So it kind of catches them in my blast, but this guy's being kind of stubborn in that way. Yeah, see, I can't... to hit his legs. Gun doesn't want to... I'm hoping that the new receiver helps with that. I mean, it's still playable. It's still perfectly playable, but... That's the problem with this old gear. So you just don't know how well it's going to work. I'm hoping that it's just the receiver that's um, problematic. See, and I don't want to return it because, well, first of all, I opened everything up. <laughs> So it's not really good to return stuff after you've opened it up, but um, also I got a pretty good price for it. I got the box and Super Scope 6 and the actual scope. You know, interestingly, people lose the scope because it detaches, so a lot of the Super Scopes out there don't actually have the scope, and without it, I think it would be a pain to aim. Because the scope is what allows you to, you know, aim at the same place, that, you know, every time, because otherwise... How would you know after you, when you start the game, you have to um, aim at the target. It kind of um, aligns it with the receiver. So, scope is what allows you to stay aligned like that. Stay calibrated. Taking out the legs. Hoping. Keep this guy from moving. Also, the legs. heard it there. Get 
too bad on me out here. Oh, that was bad. Yours, yeah, exactly. Come on. Ah, oh. come on. My, uh, I was saying that my super scope is not as responsive as it should be, and I'm hoping I ordered a new receiver, so I'm hoping that's the issue. Like, it's not... Kits aren't always registering. So how you doing tonight, Yars? <laughs> uh, it calibrates in the beginning. Sometimes I have to... And I'm hoping it's because it's an issue with the receiver. Uh, it may also be an issue with my second controller port because I've noticed that my second controller port has issues um, but basically if I unplug it and plug it back in it'll finally and the, when I first start playing it won't even register at all like when I hit the fire button it won't do anything but when I plug it a couple times it, it works fine for the most part um, it seems to have a couple blind spots so I'm hoping that a new receiver will um, help with that if not, it's perfectly playable, you know, when I want to pull it out, it's not like, uh, you know, it's not like not being able to play with a controller, because it's not like I play these games all the time. But definitely, it was a little bit annoying. I got a pretty decent deal, um, it came with the Super Scope, the Scope itself, which apparently people lost. So a lot of Super Scopes out there don't actually come with the Scope. Um, yeah, the box and Super Scope 6. Did you celebrate Easter with the family today, or is Easter is canceled like Christmas? Um, well, I don't live uh, near my parents. I did talk to them on the phone. They called me earlier. Uh, they apparently went and visited some other family, so they did family stuff. But um, no, I was here. I had Boston Market, and you know, I, I called and they weren't there, and then they called me back later. So I uh, I didn't talk to my sister, and. Um, my nephews that would have been cool but they apparently didn't call my parents either <laughs> Easter has never been like a big thing in my family for some reason not not since we were kids we would wake up and see you know our Easter baskets yeah it was nice to at least talk to them for sure Ah, oh, crap. I didn't even see it. Huh. Almost dead. I oh, didn't didn't do a good job with that. Ah. See, I tried it. I'm not doing it right. It's okay.
Yeah, I was... I played it too too close. I was trying to time it so that I could hit both his blinking blast and hit him at the same time, but... So I could have done that cleaner. I was just trying to be... trying to be slick. You had Easter at your house with your wife's... That's cool. 15 people? I don't like those huge together, you know, get-togethers. I didn't even think when my parents visited um, with family they had that many people. Like, sort of intimate gatherings, you know, like just a few people so you can chat with everybody and... I don't know, but that sounds fun. Moonbase Luna. Isn't that, um... Like, I mean, duh. Like, Moonbase and Luna don't... Luna's the moon. Moonbase moon. Kind of repetitive. It seems okay to battle with you. Well, thank you. I was saying, when I got this as a kid, um... I, I gave myself like the worst crick in my neck because I played it for hours when I first got it. I you know I didn't have this at first. I was playing Super Scope Six, which I could pop in maybe after this. But um, it was um, uh, I, basically I was like like this, either like that or like you know the way I was holding it gave myself I, I like I was hurting for a couple days. That was like really bad. So definitely you got to be careful with this thing. It's gonna it. it give you pain in the neck literally it can also give you good carpal tunnel syndrome if you know I'm not holding it right <laughs> this was not like a it's really cool but it's not good for long use for sure um, this game apparently in Japan was known as space bazooka how cool is that I can understand why they renamed it, though. I also really like the music in this game. Not doing too good. Take out that annoying gun. There we go. Let me charge up, dude. Stop doing that. Uh oh. <laughs> Gangster lean before it was a thing. Quite the trendsetter. Yeah. <laughs> I also, of course, got um, a zapper, you know, for my NES and uh, Duck Hunt, and Hogan's, Hogan's Alley is on the way. So I was thinking a couple other light gun games I could play on stream. Last stage. This guy's a little tricky. Um, see if I can get him first time. Might have a little trouble. And there is a way to play this on uh, a harder difficulty. I'll have to look it up again. It's not like a, a selection, like a like just an option that you can pick. You have to do a command, button command. Lucky to be put to sleep by my own hand. Oh, I've been watching uh, Goblin Slayer. It's very good. Um, I'm probably almost done with it, actually. I've binged a bit more than I expected to. Um... I was telling a friend about it, and she looked at a trailer, and she said that it looked good until 
I guess she saw in a trailer that had a couple of the female characters with huge boobs. She was like, yeah, I, was, I lost interest with that. So I kind of wish that they didn't have that that el that unnecessary element of uh, fan service. I wonder if that turns a lot of people off. She has a second form, so can't celebrate yet. The real me. This is like so Dragon Ball Z. It's like Frieza. You before you have seen me in my true form. Hmm. <laughs> I scared you enough. the music in this game. Tasha? <laughs> yeah, did you um did you leave the room? I was I was saying I I watched most of it. <laughs> I just have a few episodes left. I've been watching it like this weekend. I got kinda hooked. Uh it's a really good show. And um I was telling a friend about it and she watched a trailer. She said she was kinda turned off by uh <laughs> Some of the fan service, you know, a couple of the characters, uh, female characters, have some ginormous boobs. And she was like, no, nah, I lost interest with that. So I, I felt kind of bad because it's like, that has nothing to do with anything. It's so unnecessary that I wish they could have just left out the fan service and really stuck to, you know. I wonder how many people might have been turned off by that. It's, it's so minor, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's a good show. I, I can understand why you would say um, that if I liked the other, because, um, oh no, no, this is not going to be good. All right, come on. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing anything here. Gotta take out those eyes. There we go. Man, I'm doing crappy. Oh crap. Oh, what does that do? There we go. Oh crap. 
Oh well. Yep. Yeah, like you said, I can understand why you would say that. Because again, it like starts out by really um, surprising you, you know? Because there's this whole issue of, oh wow, you even start with the second form, look at that. You know, you start out like, oh, well, adventures, here's all the ranks and all that stuff and... <laughs> So it, it kind of is like a normal sort of try to focus here. Ah, crap. Oh, he blocked the shot. <sighs> really? Crap. Gotta get those orbs. There we go. All right, doing good. Oh, crap. That works. It's a pretty easy game on its default setting, which is why I want to look up. How do I? How do we get the hard difficulty here? All right. So this is Battle Clash. Hard difficulty. Yeah, this is the end. It's a short game. I want to do it again on the hard difficulty, but you have to do a... Let's see here. <laughs> Come on. I'm just trying to find... This should have it. Hmm. Oh, here we go, here we go. Press select and L at the title screen. All right, well, I'll let this play out just in case I can't beat it on the hard difficulty. Yeah, it's a short game, but it's really fun. There's just something really satisfying about it if you like shooters and just the music and the graphics and the silly cheesy characters and everything. Um, I really like it. And you didn't see the beginning, so you'll see the beginning next time.
I think if you beat it on hard, you get a slightly modified ending as well. Uh, what other games use the Super Scope? I have the sequel to this called Metal Combat. And I also have um, Super Scope 6, which is what came bundled with the Super Scope. And that's like a variety of games. Um, I can show you that if you want. It's, um, let's see here. First, I want to see if this works. Um, I did it. Select an L. So let's see. Let's see if this seems any harder, huh? Oh, here we go. So it's not just high. So I guess... Does this default to the medium then? Is that what I just played? Does it default to... Huh. I don't know. Well, I'll do hard difficulty, but I don't know if the normal difficulty is low or medium. Let's see how hard this is. I can move to a different Super Scope game um, if this uh, doesn't work out. We'll know pretty quick because he's probably going to throw all sorts of stuff at me. Oh, he didn't do the whole... Um, that's interesting. Hard doesn't have the whole dialogue. Yeah, I can tell. That this is hard. Because you have to... You have to time the blast like I was trying before. Or you can hit whatever part of him is trying to make... The shot. Firing off a lot of stuff, that's for sure. Stop firing off stuff. Don't give me a chance to hit you. Yeah, see, it just goes goes to the next guy. That's cool, I guess. I guess they assume that if you got the cheat, if you're looking to make the game harder, you just want to play the game, maybe. I don't know. Still, it'd be kind of cool if... I don't know. I guess you could just play the game more normally if you wanted all the dialogue, but... Whatever. Oops. Huh. Man, he doesn't give me a whole lot of... Doesn't give me a lot of chance to hit him. Yeah, 
I have like no chance to hit him. I mean, I do, but timing is a lot more exact. Which is cool, that's what I would expect with a harder difficulty. I'm pretty sure I would have beaten this as a, as a kid on hard, because I played this game like crazy. Ah, yeah, I see. Anyway, let's uh... So, this is Super Scope 6. This is what came with. Let's just see if it works <laughs> right out of the box. Because, like I said, I've had some issues. Did you ha ever have a super scope? Or played other friends? Yeah, yeah. So you get to choose between Blastrous and Laser Blaster. Blastrous is like Tetris. Only you fire this at stuff. It's stupid. So I'm going to play Laser Blaster. Laser, both of them have a selection of games. Um, when I was playing this the other game, I mean the other day, oh, you know what? Blastrous does have, it's more than just Tetris. Tetris has a couple other neat things. Actually, possibly the best game is on that one. Um, but, so this has a few different things like, oh, I, I don't know. Oh, is it not going to, there we go. I was going to say, is it going to stop working? I'm just going to say low, because I'm not very good. I haven't practiced one, this one all that much. This one's kind of boring, though. Really, all you do is just fire at the missiles. And, uh... You know, you got to fire... Further in front of them, the farther away they are. This is probably going to be dreadfully boring to watch. I do remember kind of enjoying it as a kid because it does take concentration. Plus, I didn't have Battle Clash right away, so... <laughs> if I wanted to play a light gun game, this is kind of what I was stuck with. Um. I want it to do some of the some of the missiles that are farther away because that's at least something to show. <laughs> there we go. So, ha! <laughs> Damn you! Yeah, I'm bored too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> So that's one. That's intercept. I'll just show you the other things in here. Uh, engage, let's see here. Now granted, if I had hit medium or high, it probably would have been a little more exciting. This one at least, at least looks kind of cool. But you know what? The thing about this one is... Uh, it's unplayable with my kind of blind spot stuff. Oh, okay. That's cool. I, this is probably not going to be like... A hugely long stream anyway, so. 
I doubt you'll miss out on a whole lot. <laughs> I'm glad this thing is at least mostly working. That's what I was afraid of with streaming it. As if it just wouldn't cooperate when I needed it to. Uh, let's go back up to Blastress. So the fun one on this one is like this whack-a-mole-like thing called Mole Patrol over here. Uh... I'll stand low for now. So, the hearts below are how many moles you have to hit. But, they start to creep, they start to put uh, pink ones in. Dang it. See, it was kind of a blind spot down there. I couldn't hit him. Oops. We'll see. See, I can't hit him. <sighs> well, it'll, it'll show you anyway. I, I'm really hoping that... Um, here, let me try this. <sighs> Alright. I moved the receiver closer. May or may not help. So you got a pink one there. So if I hit that one, it not only doesn't count, but it speeds things and counts as a miss, but it speeds things up. So this does Come, become pretty fun as it gets faster. <laughs> I wish I had another day off. My boss actually did ask me. I still can't hit him. My boss actually did ask me if I wanted to take Monday off, but I'm not really doing anything, so... Oops. I don't have much reason to say that. I just can't hit it right there! I don't know. Uh, I watched it dubbed, actually. Um, the dub is pretty good. I generally will start with a dub, especially if it defaults to the dub. And, you know, if it's not good, I'll go back to the sub. But a lot of current dubs are pretty good. You know, I mean, I really only have a problem with it if it's if it's badly acted. Now, when I watched... See, I can't hit that one. Um, when I watched uh, that time... I was reincarnated as a slug. I watched the dub, and honestly, I probably should have gone to the sub. Like, and now I couldn't hit that one <sighs> um, because it wasn't. I don't know. I didn't like the guy's voice who played the slug. I just thought, and they gave him too many American colloquialisms for being a Japanese character. So that that kind of irritated me. But. Uh, Maybe I'll put Metal Combat in next. Because, um. Again, that's the sequel. Yeah, oops. I can't hit that spot. That is so annoying. Let me pop in, um... Uh, so... The sequel to Battle Clash is called Metal Combat. And this one's interesting because... Uh... 
Um, it saves your spot. And you can continue. Like, it actually has a battery save. Which is good and bad, because... The bad of it is, they have some filler in the beginning. A tutorial section. Like, come on. Who needs a tutorial on how to shoot the super scope? Come on. It's also a little enhanced. Like, they have the voices here. Let's see. Very good. Um, I'm going to say continue. I think all I had done was gone through a little tutorial. Recently I picked up a really good... Let's see, what are you, what are you pointing to here? Hardcore Gaming 101 presents Castlevania. 154 pages with full reviews. Oh, that's pretty cool. Entire history of Castlevania games. I love Castlevania games. I am not good at them, but I love them. I'm still trying to be the first one. <laughs> I can, like, I get... I have a lot of trouble on the hallway up to death. So... Okay, so the first boss that I, I guess I it saved when I beat him was Guido, who was the first boss of the first game. So you've already seen that, guys. So this starts with... <laughs> Pitiful pile of scrap like you. Very, very strange. I don't think I needed you to tell me that. Whatever. Would recommend the print copy. Oh, oh, I, I gotcha. Cause it had it had full color pictures or stuff. That's cool. I like picture books. Oops. So one of the things that's different about this one is that shot. <laughs> you can let it charge up three times. Oh, missed him. But of course, that means more opportunity to miss. <laughs> Well, he was kind of a joke. Yeah, that's the only thing I wish about Amazon Kindle, I mean the Kindle things, is why don't they load in high res scans of pictures? I think that's very, I don't know if that's on them or on the publisher. I get that it was originally optimized for the readers, which are very small little black and white things, but they know that people read that stuff on their iPads now. No excuse. Dion, pilot of the ST Wong. I'd like to see the face of my opponent while you still have one. Ooh. gravity engine and can float. Right in the kisser. Oh, missed. Oh.
Ha! What a joke. I could have looked to see if there was a hard mode for this, but I just got this game, so I haven't even beaten on normal yet. I have failed. You can do what you will. Wow. That really killed the spirit of him. We battle with chiefs only so we may reach Thanatos. See, that's why communication is important. You can get more weapons in this one. I think you still only have a maximum of four, including your main weapon. So you have to cycle through what you want to use. But... Babble. Babble. I wonder if this is loud enough. Not too quiet. Turn up a little bit. I don't know. You were the one who bends to battle with me. To me, you appear to be a spineless wimp. What? I'll show you what courage is. Oh, that was nice. Wow. What even is he right now? <laughs> Can't believe I have lost to mere children. He is just torn up. Correct. We have no way to stop our fall. Can this be the end? Are you okay? system. Increase your attacking power. The enemy will always remain centered. It seems like cheating. And your ST will be protected by a shield. Mommy Cupcakes, how are you doing? Thanks for coming by. Finally, the time has come. I've waited long and trained hard for this moment. He has a bazooka too.
Mm, okie dokie. Playing some of your favorite games? What are your some of your favorite games? Did you play any uh, Super Nintendo? Just finished working on a project as well, so why not chill? <laughs> Dr. Mario, that's a classic. I like Dr. Mario. I'm not very good at it, but I really enjoy it. I agree, though. It's a good way to chill. Come home from work and... Ah. Yeah, even if you're not okay at it, it's still a fun game. <laughs> but that's cool. Kirby Adventure, I, I love that one too. Um, another one I'm not great at. I think I forget what world I my save is at right now. Um, that wasn't one I, I played growing up, but uh, it's definitely one I had to pick up more recently. I know it's a classic. It's a beautiful game, too. It's a beautiful NES game. It's one of the best looking. The control just took a little bit of getting used to between the jump and the float. It's getting straight. Can the team do what only one is meant to do? And pulverize the ST whose pilot and gunner are not the same. That's his dream. That is a really weird dream. So you're discovering him for the first time. That's interesting. You know, I've, I've wondered whether it's mainly nostalgia that makes people enjoy the games, but you have no nostalgia for them, but you still are really enjoying older games. That's pretty cool. I mean, they're classics. I, I think there's, there's a reason why they were good to begin with, but I just didn't know, is it mainly people who grew up with them who liked them? Might be, but that's cool that uh, others can enjoy them too. Just started playing games eight months ago. Wow. All right. I don't have all these special weapons straight out, straight. I don't know which is which. <sighs> Mars, the surface of Mars, Thanatos. Has the swine somehow escaped? I've gone in a little bit too far, I think, on retro games. Initially, I thought maybe I would get... There was this HD clone console for NES, so I could play them on an LCD. But I'm playing on a CRT I just recently bought because I wanted to be able to play the old light gun games that I enjoyed. I've got so much gear I've spent. <laughs> way too much money. But I'm, I'm loving it. I, I have to say, um, there's definitely something to be said for this old stuff. And I, I think 16-bit games look amazing. I mean, I know it may not be something that newer gamers might appreciate, but I just love 16-bit, um, uh, whatever, pixel art. Uh, I don't know the difference. Neutron Beam, Plasma Bomb. I don't really understand the whole V-System thing, so... I'm gonna go with the neutron bomb. Is this supposed to be the guy from the other game? Because it doesn't look a whole lot like him. Oops. Crap.
Went to school with so many school hours and so much homework, I didn't have time to play games. Oh, well. I can understand that. I'm glad that you stuck to your studies. Because <laughs> stuff will suck the light of life out of you if you let it. But did I get it or not? I can't hit the stupid... All right, I have to redo that one. I was hitting the button. It didn't hit the button. Yeah, I want to try again. A winner is you. Yeah, what Yar said. All right, well, I guess I could use use these things, I suppose. The things that they gave me to use. Yeah, I can interrupt them, I guess. It's the same thing. crap. Glad to finally have a degree and a job. Feel settled in life. I I have been in a similar situation the past few years because um, I got promoted a few years ago from a position I really hated and um, to do something that you really love does make you feel like you're finally at home. Alright, I need to really... this sucks. The last time I played it... <sighs> music! Excellent. My family is kind of a musical family. That's a, a very difficult area to go into. <sighs> Are you going to teach or um, perform? Oh, there you go. Beat me to it. <sighs> He's telling me what to do here. Okay. Yeah, I want to take out his legs. Come on. Just use everything. There we go. Teach and perform. That's great. You deserve this. You've made people miserable. Oh, look at that. He's trying to be funny. I guess hence the mommy cape's name, cake's name, <laughs> cupcakes. I guess double congratulations then, huh? Defeated Thanatos in the battle game may be over, but the fighting is not. Now you must battle to reach the real enemy for the people. Uh, 
Jupiter. Jupiter. I think the first game is kind of more charming than this one, but... That is great. That's some nice leave. Reduce you to bits and pieces. a lot. Crap. Yeah, that's not going to work so well. Maybe I should have used one of my items. Try to hit, use the bomb, and he's going nuts. Come on, hit him. It's a lot easier than I thought it was. setting up Anubis and his ST Thanatos as our puppet. I know nothing more than this. Disruptor bomb. Give me a lot of stuff here. sister has two, one's three, and one is six months or so, and I, I don't know how you people do it. <laughs> Kids is a full-time job. <laughs> even just having them around just exhausts me, and I don't even have to deal with them. <laughs> You're in Iowa, Yars? I didn't know that. You're living in Denmark? Hmm. So it must be... Is it early morning there, then? Oh, you said it's 3 a.m. I missed that part, yeah. I watch a streamer um, from uh, Sweden. And uh, 
he usually ends his streams about 7 p.m. because that's really late for him. Uh, let me try out Disruptor Bomb. Alright, what's this guy's deal, huh? Oh, jeez. I don't like that. That's right, I don't like that. I kill things I don't like. <laughs> In games. I got another bomb. I don't know if you run out of games. I don't really understand the item system in this game too well. <laughs> if I shaved my chin beard, I would look like that. You think so? <laughs> oh, crap. Oh yeah, you mentioned that you were in the Navy at one point. Kindly to bullies. <laughs> grotesque characters here. So many weapons, I don't really understand them, but homing laser. Let's try homing laser. Pretty sweet. Huh. Oh crap. So hot. <sighs> hmm. 
What made you hate it? Yeah, our airports can be a mess. I'm sorry I had to go through that. Ugh. Well, that's that's very unpleasant. I'm just finishing your comment. That's terrible. I'm sorry. That... Yeah, I... That's not security. That's ridiculous. Fire away! That's right, finish that guy out. Wow, that, that's, yeah. That's not a good impression, I agree. I would not blame you for not wanting to come back after that. Yeah, well, see, uh, yeah, on PSN or, uh, or, or whatever. When I finish the, um, when I finish the series, I'll have to text you either way through PSN or over Twitch. But um, have a great dinner, and um, see you again soon. Yeah. Thanks for coming by, Yars. Energy recovery unit. Yars is a really cool guy. He has been my main supporter. I know I don't have a whole lot of followers, but he's usually here when he can be. Altoria. Ah, it's Anubis. Mm. Yeah, see, this thing's already giving me a... 
I was mentioning earlier, I, I had this as a kid, and I was so excited to play uh, Super Scope 6, which was the pack-in game, and it gave me a bad crick in my neck. You need to hold your head, like, straight on this thing. I'm glad to hear that you've rebounded from that. Uh, let's see. Energy unit? I don't know. Even in the upcoming wedding. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> but congratulations again. So that's like three congratulations for whatever that's worth. You may be broke after it, but. <laughs> Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh damn. Oh, that's brilliant. That's like a cheat code right there. <sighs> My memory will burn with you after death. Wow, that's... Oh, dang it. I guess it's the last boss. He has a second form. I hope I get my stuff back. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly like in the first game. It even looks like the first boss. What a scoundrel. Really wish you wouldn't do that. In addition to uh, Twitch, do you watch any YouTube uh, gamers? Take your energy gauge. Too bad I can't get that energy item back. <sighs> Just blew it. Not really gamers. Oh I, oh, I can't get it back. But... I don't know. That's something. Holy crap. How the heck am I supposed to defeat all of that? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Well, not that there's much point to it, but I guess I'll try again. I assume there's a strategy to it. 
how to make a Nintendo Switch arcade machine. So you're making one of your own? Yeah, there's a lot of um, arcade arcade ports on the Switch. I have a bunch of Neo Geo, that kind of thing. There's um, Namco collection and beat em up collection and all that stuff. The Switch has actually turned out to be a great port of old arcade games, so that I can see that being a really cool use. I just love the portability of it, you know? I'm not, I have no shortage of games to play when I go visit family. So. Mm. Uh. Oh, I still can't use. I see. Plasma bomb. I don't know. I don't know. Holy crap. That is too much. All right, I don't know. I don't know what to do there. <sighs> the old arcade joysticks and such, those you usually used to play Street Fighter with. Yep. I had, oh, let me show you. Um, so, I bought this again. <laughs> I used to have a Super Nintendo as a kid, and um, I bought one of these as a kid, and I don't know what happened to all of this stuff, but I bought one for my Super Nintendo now. This was advertised in GamePro like a long time ago, and this thing is awesome. It, it hooks up to the Super Nintendo. It's a really nice joystick. It's got, you know, the Street Fighter style buttons. Um, I really like it. Of course, it's only, it's mainly useful for fighters and stuff, but I had to buy it again because I remembered it being so cool. I loved Street Fighter as a kid, so unfortunately, I, I couldn't get it to work on the Switch, so I ended up buying a different joystick for that, but because um, there is an adapter, like a USB adapter for the uh, Super Nintendo controller port, but um, doesn't work to hook it up to uh, to the Switch, unfortunately. But so that looks like yours. Yeah, I. Yeah, and there there is a lot on the Switch that a joystick is is great. There's you know again shooters and stuff like that um, are also I think good. Um, let's see. I don't know if I want to play this anymore. <laughs> um, let me pop in the original real quick again. Okay. Well, thanks very much for coming by, Mommy Cupcakes. And uh, maybe I'll see you again sometime. I um, really appreciate you coming by. It was nice to meet you. And take care. Yep, see ya. Good night. Oh, 
sure I hit the button. <laughs> You're not gonna throw that other hand at me. I'll take his legs. Oh, I can't. That's a blind spot. Right, take your eyes. Ah. Uh, for his eye. his eye out. He's ducking. Oh well. <sighs> Alright, well I think that's going to be it for tonight. Um, I've already played this through once and played a couple other games, so uh, I'm going to go now, but thanks for anybody who came by and viewed, and um, I will be back later this week. Bye-bye.